in WXYZ7. Get set to play with the whole recess game. Followed by Disney's One Saturday Morning. You only get one Saturday morning. ABC Next. Illuminating television. We'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Hostess! Jump inside Disney's One Saturday Morning for Doug, Lisa, The Weekender, and much more. You only get one Saturday, Saturday morning. morning. ABC next. Sunday on the wonderful world of Disney, a con man and a case of mistaken identity turn two strangers into best friends. Phil Hartman and Sinbad star in House Guest, ABC Tomorrow. Coming up next, if at first you don't succeed, ride, ride again. When Doug takes a spill, only Patty can give him the courage to get back on the bike. Disney's Doug is coming up right here on ABC. You're watching ABC. Sit tight. More to come on WXYZ7. Illuminating television. Be sure to check out the One Saturday Morning website at DisneyOne.com. Every time you do, you add to the fun that makes Saturday run. And here's the names of some of you who did. For my three wishes, I want to be rich and famous. That only counts as one. And for wish number two... I want to achieve world peace. Mm -hmm. And for number three, I wish it was time for one Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. <laughs> Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Any messages for me, Millie? Yes. Your mom called to thank you for the flowers. She said to tell you they were delicious. Huh. I think this message is for you, Jelly Roll. Put it right there. Oh, here's a letter from your mom, Darby. Mommy! And here, she sent you a blue cheesecake. Cheesy! Yay! Come on, please. Ah, uh, yeah, 
they're still watching, Bob. Take her up. Uh, hey, Bob, what are you doing? I'm doing a crossword puzzle. Oh, uh, 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 give me a clue. Give me one. I'll do one. All right, it's, uh, it's uh, five letters. Five letters. To own or possess. To own or possess. And there's a Z in it. A Z in it? Zebra. Yeah. No, let me see. I, as Z. in, I own a zebra. Z-E-B-R-A, that's five letters. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right, give me another one. All right, um, six letters, appalling or shocky? Uh, anything shocky. ugly, anything ugly. Is that six letters? Ugly. Hey, yeah, you know what? That kind of fits. Oh, it does? If, well, if you cut a couple of, of the letters off, but if you sort of smooch it in there, yeah. it all fits in Sometimes there. Sometimes I put two letters in one box. I'm hot. Oh. You are hot, Bob. Okay, here, all right, all right. Seven letters. Ah, uh, yeah. It means a fuzzy nature. A fuzzy nature. How many letters? Seven. Um, moss. Just write the S is really long, like they cover three boxes. That works. We got this going. Wow, yeah. Bob, you're very good. Three letters. A time. A time. A time. You know what? Just that whole block right there. Just yeah. draw a clock in it. The whole corner. Hey, Bob, you know, you're pretty good at questions. Oh, oh, I got an idea. What? I sell those empty boxes. Just fill them in all black. Hey, Bob, are you sure this is the way you're supposed to play crossword puzzle? Well, you're supposed to have fun, right? Yeah. I'm having fun. Me too. <laughs> What's the gift? Round one. Hey, can you find the six differences between this picture and this one? Yeah, sure, they look the same, but they're not. Six things are different about them. We're going to come back two more times to see if you can find out what's the diff. Then stick around for the answers later on right here inside Disney's One Saturday Morning. This week's What's the Diff was sent in by... You can make your own What's the Diff at our website, DisneyOne.com. Hey, Jelly Roll, what you doing? Hi, Mimi. I'm feeding my pet. Fertilizer? You're feeding your pet fertilizer? Of course. It's a pet tunia. <laughs> I just planted the seeds this morning. And you know what I have to say about that. Yes? Let's go to Doug. Coming up next, when TJ wins the Principal for a Day contest, will everyone's best pal turn into everyone's worst nightmare? Find out on Recess, coming up right here on ABC. We'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Now it's time for my favorite meerkat and warthog, Timon and Pumbaa. Find out why. Find out why! <laughs> No, I've never wondered, but I have a feeling you need to tell me. If I help you find your answer, can I resume my mumble? Absolutely, Timon. Let's get a closer look. <laughs> hey, look at all these holes. You should get your money back. Wait, 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 Timon. I think these holes are supposed to be here. 
When you put a CD in the player, it starts spinning real fast. Then a laser shines onto it. Whoa! Hey, watch it! Whenever the laser hits the flat part of the disc, the beam is reflected back to a photo detector. A what? A doohickey that can sense light. Why didn't you say so? But when the laser hits the holes, the light is not reflected back, so the detector doesn't detect it. Yeah, yeah. What's this got to do with music? It's binary code, Timon. The language of the digital age. Oh. Every time the laser beam is reflected back to the photo detector, it registers as a one. Took the words right out of my mouth. And the pitch register as a zero. Just one little question. What has this got to do with music? These combinations are interpreted as information. Who cares about information? I want music! Let's get jiggy with it! The information can be music. Ooh, nice. Ever wonder? Yo, yo, yo! Find out why! Find Out Why, sponsored by the National Science Foundation, www.findoutwhy.org. This Dance Manny Dance was submitted by one of you on our website at DisneyOne.com. You, too, can make a Dance Manny Dance. Go to DisneyOne.com and make the fun that makes Saturday run. What's the gift? Round three. Hey, sports fans, last chance to see if you can spot the differences between these two pictures. There are six things about them that just aren't the same. Can you find out what's the dip? We'll have the answers coming up right here inside Disney's One Saturday Morning. Two, one. Hey, Jelly Roll, what did the elephant say when he saw a dead ant on the road? Dead <laughs> ant, In your seats. In your seats. Anybody who stands up is going to military school. I'd like that. They have lots of sports. Yeah, like beat up the new kid. I'm so not very, he goes. I'm all like, this bus driver, bus driver intentionally hits every single bump. And pothole. And bump. I think I'm getting car sick. Now that, I believe. Suspension needs a workout, or it goes stale, like bread. My dad does workout. He's a trainer. Yeah, right. A trainer in the circus in which you live. In your seats. <laughs> I'd like to play football at military school. Football. There's more to life than playing sports. True. There's watching sports. In your seats. And reading about sports. Want to see a coffee filter? Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Cha. Hey, Mitch. I think you missed one. Nice. Uh... Aha. Maybe military school wouldn't be that bad. In your seats. Come on, Jelly Roll, let's go somewhere. Where? China, let's go. Where are we, Mimi? The Great Wall of China, Jelly Roll. It was built by hand almost 2,500 years ago to keep the barbarians out. It stretches for over 1,500 miles across China. And it's so big, it can be seen from outer space. Yes, Mimi, you're right. You can see the wall from up here. We'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Hurry it up! No time for dawdling! Now on video and DVD. Disney presents the biggest, hello, bounciest, <laughs> most triggerific movie ever. Oh, boy! <laughs> I can't wait with Rue, Eeyore, Piglet, and Winnie the Pooh. Well, there are bees. There's honey. <laughs> Disney's The Tigger Movie, rated G. Now available on video and Disney DVD. Case of mistaken identity. Hey, Darren, that's right. Turns two strangers. <laughs> He's the genuine article. Into the best of friends. What do you think? You're a lucky man. Oh, does that mean you can do something for? Whoa! Sinbad and Phil Hartman. Oh my! Oh. House guest ABC Sunday at seven six Central. Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Uh. 
I don't get computers. You just move the mouse where you want it to go. What if the mouse won't listen? <laughs> you control the mouse. Tell him that. <laughs> Forget it. Go to recess. for themselves. Whoa! Albert Einstein discovered a lot more than the bad hair day. I'll tell you this, buddy. His work was the foundation for what you call your modern scientific thought. Albert didn't even speak till the age of three. See, Papa? What is Imke? In school, his brilliant mind was always racing. At Einstein's mind, teaching itself Euclidean geometry by the age of 12. He became the most influential and famous scientist in the world. You're back on the air with the Physics Friends Network. Toledo? Yeah. Uh, can you... Give me an example of uh, relativity. Why, sure. A particle of light leaves the sun at the same time a spaceship also leaves the sun. The spaceship rockets off at speeds close to the speed of light. If an observer on the sun oh, ow, ow, were to look through a telescope at the ship, the traveler on the ship would appear to be moving in slow motion. Time on the ship would appear to have slowed down. The spaceship would appear to have shortened in length and increased in mass. Yet, to the traveler on the ship, none of the changes would appear to have occurred. Even more remarkable, the particle of light would appear to travel the same speed away from the moving ship as it does from the observer standing still on the sun. It's all relative. Everything changes except for light. If you'd like to know more about Professor E's other groundbreaking discoveries, put down the joystick, Sparky, and pick up a book. Great minds think for themselves. What's the gift? Answer. Hey, here come the answers. The differences between these two pictures. The apple. One. The toe of the shoe. Two. The bow on the dress. Three. The shirt decoration. Four. The dots on the feather. Five. And Doug's expression. Six. Way to go! Yay! We'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Sit tight. More to come on WXYZ site. Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Illuminating television. Can you find the six differences between this picture and this one? Yeah, sure, they look the same, but they're not. Six things are different about them. We're going to come back two more times to see if you can find out what's the diff. Then stick around for the answers later on right here inside Disney's One Saturday Morning. And now here's Mimi in the One Saturday Morning Telecopter. Well, it looks like another great day up here in the Telecopter. Wait a minute, Jelly Roll. Are you sure we're flying high enough? Of course I'm flying high enough. Well, maybe I could fly a little higher. Let's go to recess.
Coming up next, when Carver agrees to let Tish create a sculpture of him, he's in for a big surprise when he finds out she plans to show it off on TV. Get ready for the Weekenders, coming up right here on ABC. We'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Hostess! Helping people who are sick is my golden rule. It was I who established the first nursing school. Who am I? I'm Florence Nightingale. Danny, time for practice. No time for a snack? This is the job for new Damino's drinkable yogurt. Strawberry explosion. Very cool. Rockin' raspberry. Fruity licious. When you need a snack fast, you can drink Fruity Licious new Danimal's drinkable yogurt. Two, one. Danny. New Danimal's drinkable yogurt. Fruity, fun, and fast. Yeah. Ronald and me on a dinosaur hunt. I'm starving. Hey, let's get a Happy Meal. Cool. Think we'll ever find a dinosaur? Oh, there's got to be one around here somewhere. Ronald and me. How cool would that be? You know, Tigger, in this suit, I feel like bouncing, too. But I thought you were afraid of heights. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now every McDonald's Happy Meal has one dress-up character from Disney's The Tigger Movie on video and DVD. I'm back, Tigger. Buddy. Good game. Way to go. So who were those guys? Where'd they even come from? No clue. See that one guy? Hmm. What a beast. Check out the new ride. It's a... Whoa. Bummer. <laughs> Ladies. Dinosaurs hate being smashed on something. Remember a new Mario Tennis with 16 players, blazing balls, and four-player action. Only on N64, ready to eat for everyone. Playing together as an orchestra is a fantastic thing. It's really worthwhile. When the audience is excited about the music... It's a great feeling. It's all worth it. <laughs> Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Here's the percentage of kids who voted for Jelly Roll to trounce a roast turkey dinner. It must be crushed. It must be crushed. On DisneyOne.com. How much stuff could an elephant crush? What are you going to crush today, Jelly Roll? A super deluxe roast turkey dinner. Thanksgiving's come early this year, my little friend. Nice swishing, Jelly Roll. Let's go see America! Today we'll have some fun, I can feel it in my glands. So come on, let's go exploring to this country's many lands. We'll meet many people, can see much from Gamery. Your eyes won't be believing all the stuff your eyeballs see. It's true! Hey, I'm Manny Dean Danny! And today, I'm in Memphis, Tennessee, at the Peabody Hotel, where every day an amazing parade of a feathery sort that takes place. Okay, okay now, I'm here on the roof of the hotel to, to meet the stars of the, the parade of the world-famous Peabody Duck. <laughs> this is the Duck Palace, and that's Toby Carter. He's the Duck Master. The, the, he knows everything about it. Come on. Hey, Toby, how you doing? How you doing today, man? I'm doing well. Now, tell me something. Every morning, at 11 a.m., they're going to march out of here down across the rooftop to the elevator, down a red carpet, into the fountain in the center of the lobby. And this is your responsibility, to make sure that this incredible parade, that people come from Gambia, people come from Sambia, people come from Sambuca, all of the world, to come here to see these ducks. Excuse me, could I just get one word with you? One word. ABC Television?
You're going to now get ready for the for the, the parade. Yes. You're going to get in the costume. Yes. And then I'm going to help you do other things. Yes. We're going to roll out the red carpet for the ducks because they don't just enter the lobby. They come in on the red carpet like the queen. Come on. Let's go to work. Come in. You all ready to go to work this morning? Oh, it's so cute. All right, babies, let's go. OK, come on, babies. Let's go to work in the elevator. And so we all got in the elevator and started down towards the lobby where hundreds of peoples and children had gathered and eagerly waited to catch a glimpse of those cute little Peabody duckies in their daily march to the pond. Finally, it was time and the merriment began. <laughs> It was my pleasure, Manny. All right, well, I'll see you later. I'll see Manny, Manny, I need the stick. Can I just have it? Well, I have to have it. But could I just take it with me? Well, no, because I need to use it there at 5 o'clock. Don't be. Don't be. Let me have the darn stick. We'll see you later. Toby, give me this. Toby, Toby, please. I was nice to you. Let me have the stick. What's the gift? Round two. Hey, we're still looking for six differences between this picture and this one. Look close, because they're just not the same. We're going to show it to you one more time, so you'll get one more chance to see what's the diff. Then, later on, we'll have the answers right here inside Disney's One Saturday Morning. Wow. One Talking Dog. Hi, guys. You can talk. Yes, I can, Lennon. One New Student. I'm going to school. Isn't he awesome? One Saturday morning. I'm a boy, not a dog. A boy, not a dog. What a day. He's Scott. He's Scott. Good dog. He's the dog who's taking over the school. Teacher's Pet. New on Disney's One Saturday Morning. Premiering September 9th on ABC. Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Hi, Miss Moose. Hi. So I see today you're learning to twirl the baton. I'm a majorette. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> up, up she goes and where she lands, nobody knows. Oh. 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 Miss Moose, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> uh, yeah, they're still watching, Bob. Figure out. Hey, Bob. Yeah? You seen my lunchbox? No, I haven't seen it. I think it's up there. I get a funny tummy when I go to the high plate. You want me to go? Yeah, would you, please? All right. I'm sitting on the couch. You're not sitting on a couch, are you? No, sir. OK. Is it over here? That's the couch I love. You're not sitting on that couch you love, are Keep you? Keep going higher. All right. Couch is my friend. You're not singing songs to the couch, are you, while I'm looking for your lunchbox? No, sir. -y. OK. Bob. Oh. Here's my lunchbox right here. Did you find your lunchbox? Ah, I'm coming back down. Come on down. OK. This Dance Many Dance was submitted by one of you on our website at DisneyOne.com. You, too, can make a Dance Many Dance. Go to DisneyOne.com and make the fun, then make Saturday run. We'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. You're cool. You're watching WXYZ7. Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. Hey, it's Mimi. Jelly Roll and I are ice skating this weekend. How's it going, Jelly Roll? Awesome, Mimi. Watch me do a figure eight. Oh! Why 
they call it a figure eight. Because that figure's gonna take about eight tow trucks to get Jelly Roll out of there. But in the meantime, you guys keep cool with the Weekenders. <laughs> Everybody's running and the world is getting so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some rings. Better hurry up, just got some days. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, there's no doubt. Books them all, lot of fun, pizza ride. It's time for all of us to play it on out. <laughs> hey, that's what the weekend's all about. On TV, drink that frosty drug of free. That's what we like to do. Come on, y'all, I'll talk to you. <laughs> oh, I'm living for the weekend. I'm living for the weekend. Hey! Next week, when Laura and Gino spend the weekend studying, Tish and Cover are left on their own. But will they be able to turn their fab foursome into a terrific twosome? Find out on The Weekenders next week on Disney's One Saturday Morning. Jelly Roll, you're on the air. Hey, Jelly Roll, sometimes I forget my locker combination. What should I do? Well, forgetful. Try writing that number down someplace secret. Or do what I do. Just ram your head into the locker and pry off the lock with your tusks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. G'day, I'm Alistair Flynn Diggory. And I'm Vanessa. Yes, you are. And today we're looking at the lemma. Now, lemurs live in the trees on the island of Madagascar. They soar beautifully from tree to tree in search of food. In fact, some species, like the ring-tailed lemur, can live for months on the food stored in their fat, chubby tails. Let's have a gander. Where'd it go? Lemur! Welcome back to Disney's One Saturday Morning. What's the gift? Answer. Hey, here we go. The answer is the differences between these two pictures. What? The added light, the lenses in the glasses, the open mouth, this picture here, the color of the flower, and the color of this shirt. Way to go! Yay! how you can be part of the fun on one Saturday morning, just check out our website. And be sure to stick around, because there's more fun coming up. <laughs> right, Jelly Roll? Right, Mimi. See you next Saturday. Bye-bye. Sunday on the wonderful world of Disney, a con man and a case of a mistaken identity turn two strangers into best friends. Phil Hartman and Sinbad star in House Guest, ABC Tomorrow. Coming up next, when Sabrina finds out that great-great-grandpa Gandalf might become a permanent house guest if he fails his witching test, she takes on the task of tutoring him on Sabrina, the animated series. Coming up right here on ABC. Watching ABC. Sit tight. More to come on WXYZ site.